Hey traders, welcome to the recording of my live session today. Take a look at Coin. Coin is up almost 3%. It started with a big gap up, it came down, rejected the lows, profit taking, and then it reverses. That's where you want to buy it. So I'm about to buy 4,000 shares at this reversal point right now. I'm long 4,000 shares expecting a new high. Notice the volume. The volume is high, 1.6 million shares, which means a lot of people are watching it. And that's what promises you that they will buy over the highs. Now look at what happens once it reaches the highs now. It just moved over the highs, it touched over the highs. This is a time where people are watching it. That's where they're buying. And now I'm up almost $4,000, getting to my target, selling here and taking my profits. Again, you want a lot of people to watch a trade that you're taking. And here comes Disney, same idea. Stock is up 8%. I love it because again, profit taking, it comes down in the direction of closing the gap and then it reverses. And you look for this reversal and Disney is my main candidate because the volume is huge, over 6 million shares, which means a lot of people are watching it. Now I want a little bit of a confirmation. I want to see it moving a little bit higher than this point. Somewhere over 122, it just moved over and I'm getting ready to to buy and again looking at the buyers looking at the sellers look at the volume and yes I decided I'm gonna buy I'm buying here 4,000 shares now it's my main candidate today because a lot of people are watching it therefore it's likely to succeed it's likely to move over the highs my stop loss is 1.3 points which means if it's gonna come down under 121 I'm gonna close it my target is around 123.50 and here we go I'm about to add I like it I'm about to add another 2,000 shares now adding now it's touching the highs again I'm trying to buy before it moves to a new high I don't always succeed but when I do it's the right place to buy because then you move in before the gr the crowd so I'm up two thousand dollars three thousand dollars it's moving up good my target is very close another 30 cents or so another 20 cents or so here we go it's getting close to my target I'm up five grand it's close it's close it's getting there I need another 20 cents <laughs> And it's at the highs and a pullback. I did not get it. I did not get it and I'll have to just wait for another leg up. And this is now looking bad. It's looking bad. It's coming down. And I'm down like, okay, two grand, three grand. It continues to come down. It's not looking good. Six grand, seven grand. And it comes down and I'm about to have a stop loss soon under 121 just touched I'm out now $8,000 <laughs> a huge loser now I trusted this one I even added as it moved up you know what I haven't done anything wrong I did the right thing I need another 20 cents okay but it's a part of the game some you win some you don't and normally when I add to a winner Normally I'm right, like 80% of the time. And again, it just didn't work out. I needed another 20 cents. It just did not come. And maybe my entry point was not right. Maybe I should have moved in a little bit earlier. I don't know. Anyway, a loser. Mara is kind of the same idea. This stock is up 8%. It reverses. Again, profit taking at the beginning. You expect that. I'm long now, 4,000 shares, expecting a new high. Now again, notice I'm trying to buy before it moves to a new high. Because once they move to a new high, a lot of you know the crowd comes in and it's it's not bad it's good it's good to buy over the highs but it's normally professional traders will buy before i'm up two grand right now it's touching my target and i'm taking my profit my profits right over here left 400 shares for the continued move of mara it was a nice trade shop shopify same idea stock is slowly getting to the highs and normally, again, I would like to buy before it moves to a new high. I don't always succeed. I'm going to go long. I'm buying here 4,000 shares. Just a few cents before it moved to a new high. Let's see later what happened there. Same idea with Mara. Uh, sorry, with AFRM. AFRM is up 5% today. It's approaching the highs. I want to buy just a few cents before, which is now buying now for thousand shares I thought it just moved over the highs it did not now it did and now the buyers should come now normally I try to buy before it moves to a new high it's the right practice and uh, you know if somebody taught you something else like buy over breakouts yes you do that it works out fine but normally you need to anticipate a breakout it was a little bit hard for me with AFRM because you see this spike down earlier I was not sure if I should trust it or not okay it's moving up right now my target shouldn't be as good as I normally look for because again I bought at the breakout I'm up two grand right now a little bit more about to take my partial taking my partial right here 
now living 300 shares. So that one worked out fine as well. Another successful trade. Shop just reached my target, a nice spike up. I'm over three grand in profits and I'm about to take my partial. This one worked out nice. Took, left 400 shares and hope it's going to continue. Now look at the end result. Amazing trades. <laughs> Four green trades and one terrible trade in Disney. So, you know, normally if I would get 50% green trades, I will be in green. This day, today, I had four green trades and one big loser. Again, just a part of the game. I did finish in green, not much. I could have finished, I could have easily finished in red. In fact, I was most of the day in red after the Disney trade. But, you know, I, I, have, I don't feel like I've done anything wrong today. I have done the right thing. I bought a stock that I thought is extremely strong and I added to the stroke and normally I will succeed. You, it, it's just that you, you can control it. Sometimes you have a winner, sometimes you have a loser. It's a part of the game. I don't feel like I've done anything wrong. My, my, my success percentage, success, success rate is great. You know what? Green is good. I've done my share for the day. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a like. It helps my channel and helps more people like you enjoy day trading videos and learn a little bit more about day trading. And if you want to subscribe, there's a button right here. So click on the subscribe button and on the notification bell if you want to be notified of my future uploads. If you want to trade the same platform I do, there's a link right here below to the Colmex Pro platform. Please, please, please start with the demo because trading is extremely hard and most traders lose money. There's also links right here below to my live trading room. I call all of my trades live each and every day and you can take them with me and uh, it's a free 14 day trial i will look forward to seeing you in my trading room thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video